people of Reddit. What was the most NSFW event you ever stumbled upon in high school? No one thought it would be a bad idea for the cross-country team to have thin white uniforms until we had a race in a thunderstorm. So many flashbacks of penises swaying with each stride. In middle school some kids walked in and started having sex in the stall next to me while I was pooping. Eventually they smelled my presence. This was junior high but one kid who we suspected was gay gave another kid who we did not suspect was gay a blowjob in the bathroom stall. And for what? The holofoil Clefairy Pokemon card. I went to a boarding school my freshman year of high school and a few weeks in, I volunteered to help walk our librarian's dog for her while her leg was healing after an injury. So I was walking this huge dog through the woods around campus when he suddenly sniffed the air and just ripped the leash out of my hands and took off into the underbrush. I started chasing after him when I heard screaming and yelling. I thought, oh god this dog mauled someone and I'm going to get expelled. Broke through a clearing and there were five half-naked upperclassmen trying to put their clothes on and scatter while. This dog is joyously barking and jumping up on and licking them. TLDR accidentally interrupted an orgy in the woods with my librarian's dog. Edit. I guess since so many people are asking, yes it was a co-ed school and yes both sexes were represented. Walked into a bathroom after school and found a guy and a girl about to go to town. She had her shirt off and skirt up, he had his pants one. I mean, I caught them just before the moment of insertion. I said nothing, I would have left them to it except all other bathrooms on campus except this one were always locked shortly before last bell. So I silently walked to a urinal, calmly did my business, properly washed my hands. By the time I went to leave, the girl was hiding in a stall and the guy was waiting by the door. I shrugged at the guy, guy shrugged back, I left and heard the door lock behind me. Not one of us said anything or made a sound during the entire exchange. Edit. For everyone calling it a power move minus I appreciate it, but I just didn't want to have to pee in the bushes. In band before a football game, I walk into the percussion room to hang with the homies. Everyone is huddled around this dude in the corner of the room laughing, so of course I walk over to check it out. Turns out the dude was showing everyone how tiny his dick is and everyone was so fascinated. Yeah it was really really small. Like from the tip of your pinky to the first knuckle down. I've never seen anything like it lol. Edit. I know it called a micropenis. Blfow. Some kid at a party got blackout wasted and shat himself. In the middle of the crowd he took his pants down and slipped in it. Proceeded to army crawl to try and make it out but just smeared it everywhere. He is still known as the party pooper. I ran cross country in high school. Sometimes during practice we would run through trails in the woods surrounding the high school. One day right after school ended we started running down the trails and stumbled upon two students having sex. Judging by their reactions I don't think they were expecting a group of 15 guys to run by while they were getting it on. We had a girl who would sit in the back of the bus and seemed to always have a different dude sit next to her. Turns out she was giving guys hand jobs for a small price. In 8th grade we went on a class trip to Hershey Park. Two girls gave a guy a blowjob on the bus ride home next to a sleeping chaperone. They eventually got caught and that's why there are now no co-ed buses in the district. This was also in 2002. Freshman year of high school. Football team is out practicing. A senior varsity player came into the freshman locker room, cut all the locks off our lockers, and stole our clothes. Nice enough to take wallets and phones etc out of pockets and leave them in the lockers though. Idiot didn't realize the hallway cameras had him the whole time. Most of us chose not to shower until we got home and as a team proceeded to leave in groups in under shirts and boxers or no shirts and boxers after getting a call our rides were there. Small town, small school, so ultimately he was just benched for a few games suspended for a day or two and his parents had to buy. A bunch of padlocks. I went to a small party at my friend's house. My girlfriend and I got there late. We went in and noticed nobody was in the living room. 
Weird. They said she'd be here. Start walking to the back and I could hear several voices in the bedroom. I just opened the door and there were seven of my friends just having a casual orgy. Not me specifically, but two kids in my Catholic high school fucked in the bathroom and someone caught them and videotaped it. They posted it online. Our school made the news and now they measure girls. Skirts if they look too high, as well as banning phones. What happens in the locker room? Should stay in the locker room. With that said, I once walked in on a kid shoving a crucifix up his ass on a dare from his friends. Went to teacher's room to get some papers that my Portuguese teacher had forgotten and stumbled at my gym and biology teachers kissing each other really hard over the meeting table. I mean, they didn't even notice me. And oh, it was a Catholic school, and they were both married BTW. My face when I returned to class without the papers must have been priceless. Okay, two stories, one NSFW but still messed up. And hashtag XB. Janitor in elementary school died while mopping the floor and somehow this didn't get around the entire school and my entire class saw them taking his covered up body out the front door. And hashtag XB. And hashtag XB. Another is walking in on several people giving BJS in the band room. It became a daily thing and I should have known to also knock on the practice room doors before entering. Fresh jizz on a locker room bench. A kid pulled his pants down in Spanish class and pissed in the corner. A kid with a mental handicap who would vigorously masturbate in at political science at least once a week. Edit. One day in at policy, the kid with Asperger's sat alone in a row of empty chairs all closely placed together directly in front of the teacher. In the middle of class, he reclined across four adjacent seats and went to work in his pants. At my angle, I could see everything. The tent, his forearm pistoning up and down, the veins in his neck, he stuck out his tongue and curled his toes, taunting us like that for five, maybe ten seconds, before the teacher shouted at him. This kid did weird sheep but he was in a number of my app classes and, I think, legitimately earned his way. He carried our team's ass in at Brit Lit Junior Year during in-class Jeopardy games. And way too many of y'all shared this pissing in Spanish class experience for us to be in the same class. What's going on out there? Not me, but a few freshmen encountered sophomores having sex on a hill my school had for cross country and I think football. And then someone marked that hill on Google Maps. A sophomore at my school gave a freshman a donut filled with cum. He got criminal charges. Oh man, they've got a good one for this. So I'm in H forward slash S theater class and have been helping the teacher out with a lot of tasks like setting up the green room and stuff. Just little helpful stuff. Well, apparently one of us left the door unlocked and unattended for a little too long. In our green room were two big blue couches that were the most uncomfortable things I had ever sat on. Teacher comes running into the room from the hall and says sudden light equila. I think someone is in the green room. Go with me so I can have a witness. Thinking nothing of it, I go. We stand by the door and someone is most deaf in there, making some pretty unusual sounds. I realize what the sound is a half second before the teacher throws the door open to two kids from my class getting down on that couch. I only had like two seconds of view time before the teacher screams, good golly Miss Molly, and slams the door. I sat outside that door crying from laughing for about 20 minutes before they knocked on the door to be let out, realizing we had the stage completely locked down. The look on their faces when the principal let them out and led them to his office will forever be in my mind. Can you imagine? Balls deep about to blow and from over your shoulder. Good golly Miss Molly. I dream of it sometimes and still wake up laughing. Edit. Words are hard. Had a guy run through the school completely naked. High school by the way. Even ran up and slapped some teachers ass. Haven't heard of him since but they was like five plus years ago. My high school had to ban blankets after two freshmen were caught having sex under one in the middle of the art hallway. We had many PCS in our school. And every computer room had a projector. So once when the teacher was ill and no replacement came we were in that room. 
Someone started the projector and quickly found out that every porn site he tried is blacklisted. But playing from us apparently works fine. We later found out. Not only are the connections whitelisted, but also fully monitored. Not long after the movie show with sound and everything started, the IT tech guy comes with a substitute teacher. That internet search history was apparently enough for them to suddenly have a substitute teacher for us. Edit. For anyone interested we were around 16 or 18 males irk and 4 girls in class. I can't remember how many were there that day. One guy flashing his dick at the teacher and also one dude was caught in the bathroom giving a blowjob. My school is the one where that girl, Peaches went to, the girl who ate the tampon. Also two students got caught fucking under the stairs. Guys I need to inform you that there apparently are multiple. Peaches the peaches that I am referring to went to a school called Saks in Alabama. Used condom left wrapped around the tap on the sink in the boys' toilets. A week later it was still there. A month later there was another one next to it. Subscribe, like and comment if you hate outros begging you to subscribe, like and comment.